Hey guys, Simcoder here and today I'm going to show you um, and the new redesign and this will be on the WhatsApp Tone app. So I've made some alterations to the project that we have here in YouTube. If you haven't checked it out, then please do. Uh, it is a cool series of about 17 lessons, I believe, where I go ho over how to implement the logic of WhatsApp and how to get everything working. Now the redesign is to is kind of an add-on where I go over all of the layouts and I make sure they look as close as possible to the real WhatsApp app. And yeah, I just go over the logic, I implemented some extra things that aren't in the series. So if you want to get it, then the link is down below to the Simcoder store where you can purchase the app and there are two um, types of purchases that you can make either the code where you get the full project and you have to set it up yourself or the setup plus the code where i myself will go over the code and set up all of the accounts that are needed to to make the project work so without any further ado i'm going to open up the whatsapp clone in here and as you can see this is the login page it, it looks much better you are able to choose the, the country code uh, that the phone belongs to. So in this case, I'm just going to go with the US one. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. And in here, uh, we are able to press the code and let's just try to log in and do the same thing for the other emulator. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And the code uh, is once again, let it just go over, we might place one too many twos, okay, that's it, and whenever you fill it up, it just logs in automatically, so that looks good, and so I'm logged in with uh, the ones, the two, and the twos in these two emulators, and I have a third uh, device, which is my own physical device, uh, logged in, in um, to the one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, 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 whatever. So that's the phone numbers that I have right now. Uh, there are a couple of things that won't work really well in the emulators, uh, which is the mainly the notifications. And that's because one of these is the clone of the other. And because of that, there are some mixes with the um, notifications, but in the physical device, it works perfectly. So let's jump into the main changes. The first of which is the profile. So now uh, each user gets a profile and uh, is able to add an image, uh, change the name, change the status, the phone number, it can change, just as in WhatsApp, you can change your number. Uh, in order to change the number, you have to log in with a different number, and you are able to, for example, add a status. So let's say, hi, I'm Rachel. Uh, send me a text, whatever. Uh, let's just confirm that. It should be uh, done right now. So let's go into um, the messages and actually add someone uh, to our message. Now let me just check with whom I'm logged in in here. Uh, with Philip and with Philip, I don't have the Philip in here. So I'm going to go uh, into my contacts. And yeah, I'm not logged in. I don't have a Philip in here. So let me change these tests to test two, for example. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, save it. Go back to the app. Come in, and here is Philip, which is the user that I'm logged in within this device. And as you can see, uh, the status, the name, and the image appears in here. And I'm going to click on it, and it will create a chat room. Okay, so that's it. Now, if I come in here, I'm able to send messages directly. Hi, how are you? Send. And as you can see, uh, the messages look <laughs> really uh, <laughs> that much better. Um, so let me send the match and matches back. Fine. How about you? And there we go. So yeah, that looks good. Uh, you are able to... Uh, also send mass, uh, media, so send images in this case, and that has changed as well. You are able to add, remove them, 
and send them. So I'm going to add one more. And when sending uh, uh, the uh, media, now uh, it appears like this. It no longer appears with a button as it does in our YouTube series. It looks much better. And it says the number, the amount of media that they, the, this message has. And if you click on it, you are able to scroll through the images. So it looks really good. I'm really happy and pleased with how this turned out. So yeah. Um, now, uh, one other thing that I added was uh, the ability to capture images just as you do in the WhatsApp app. And if you scroll to the right, the camera appears and you are able to take pictures. You are able to revert the camera and because I'm in the emulator, the way you get the feeling of using the front or rear camera is the image you can see it kind of flips. Uh, so yeah, that's it. You are able to choose flash or no flash. And if you take a picture, well, because it is an emulator, it appear, appears all green, but in your phone it appears the image, and you are able to choose the chat that you want to send the image to. So in this case, let's say Philip, and as you can see, uh, the media is received and the image appears in here. It is green, obviously, because of the emulator, but yeah, that all is working just fine. Now, uh, one other thing is that you are able to add groups and create groups in the chat room. So to do that, all you have to do is long press a new, an user. And as you can see, this tick appears here and you are able to select as many users as you want from here. So I'm going to add all of these users and create a chat with that. And as you can see, it appears right over here and right over here. And if I go in here uh, and I send an image, uh, a message, and I'm going to send this message from my phone so that you can see that both of them will receive the message. So let me just type it here. Hi, uh, this was sent from my phone. Okay, and as you can see, this message is sent uh, from my phone to both of these emulators. Uh, so yeah, that's working just fine. And another thing that I added was the ability to change the chat configuration. So the name and the image. So let me come in here so that you can see. The name, let's say, uh, my chat room. Let's add an image as well, because why not? Edit. And there we go. My chat room. Uh, hi, this message was sent from my phone. The last message appears as well. And there is an image here and that the image appears to be black. And that's because it is basically all black. It just has some purple circles in the bottom. But yeah, the, the image is there. Okay, so that's basically everything that it does. Um, it works just like the, the WhatsApp app. It has timestamps, you are able to see when the messages were received, who sent them, and that's it. So um, again, if you want to, to go ahead and get the project, then the link is down below in the description. Um, it will be available in my website. So um, yeah, if you have any troubles with the project, then you can send me an, an email directly and I'll be sure to answer you as fast as possible and fast track uh, your problem. So yeah, that's all. Uh, I believe the WhatsApp part of the this YouTube channel is done. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. If you are going to follow the series, then again, if you have any problems, then just ask me and I'll try to answer them. And yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Ciao.